Okay, before starting brazing, I'm going to turn on the nitrogen out here. I'll connect it up to the uh, gauge set and then to the uh, service port, which will flow through the uh, line. Let's turn that on and get started. There we go. Okay, the pipes are all prepared and cleaned now. I've got uh, wet rags over the uh, heat sensitive parts on each end. Another uh, bucket of water and some rags to dose it when it's done. So let's get started. Okay, that joint doesn't look quite as good as I'd like, but that one looks a lot better. I'm just going to go over this one again and around the top. On the bottom it looks pretty good. Okay, I've rebraced that one. Looks a little bit better now. At least it doesn't look like there's any spots where there would be a leak. One thing I don't like about how they've set this up is uh, when you put the TXV on, like this, the tube comes way far out and wastes a whole bunch of space. So I think what I'm going to do is unbolt this plate here, push it in, and put the TXV in from the inside so just this little copper fitting comes out at about where the uh, current connection is. Here's the TXV that I've mounted on the inside of the coil. Let's put some standoffs there to move the original plate back. The um, bulb is over here on this line. And the um, equalizer connection goes over here, down around, and then back over to the TXV. And the lines come out at about the same, about as far, each of them, about the same distance. Okay, time for the uh, high side line. Okay, that joint looks way better than the other ones. And here's a view of that final joint. Come on, focus. There we go. 
whenever you're doing the duct work, make sure to check for uh, dust. In this case, we've got a large amount of dust in the uh, train air ducts. Let's see if we can get a shot of this. Huge piles of dust. So we've got a long tube here. We'll use a vacuum to suck it all out. While we were vacuuming out the duct, there was a whizzing sound as something went down this pipe we were vacuuming with and wedged itself. And bang as it wedged itself into this, uh, into the vacuum. You bang it out, and this thing comes out of it. This thing is solid steel. Uh, I have no idea what it's for. It's, uh, there's a hole down the center. Uh, this end looks pretty clean or undamaged. This one has a sort of a cone and is quite banged up. So if anyone can tell me what this is for, I'd appreciate it. As clean as we can get it. Still some stuff at the very back, but that's very difficult to get to. Here we're making the electrical connection to the air handler. Uh, this is the old circuit that used to supply the furnace. So we've we made another run over to here, so we've got an outlet for this bench. And we're going to run a uh, R-wide cable down to the um, air cleaner. And probably also install an outlet in this. Because we might put some shelves between the uh, air handler and the duct. And here is the final connection. Uh, it goes down here to the air cleaner. And here's the inside of the air cleaner. Basically just a 24 volt transformer little switch that detects airflow by the cooling of a thermistor down there. It turns on the high voltage generator. It looks like it's just a flyback circuit with a uh, voltage multiplier on the output.